So reporting from the 23rd World Mining Conference, joining me today is the General Chairperson, Dr. Ferry Hassani, also Professor of uh, Mining Engineering at McGill University. Ferry, thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much. So th this is big news here. This is the first time it comes to, to Canada. Uh, lots of great jurisdictions within Canada, let alone the world. What, uh, what does it mean to have this here? Well, to, to be honest, uh, this is a competition. Uh, there are lots of countries who want to have this uh, World Mining Congress. We had a strong support from the industry and the government of Quebec, uh, and also Palais de Congrès, and uh, we were able to compete uh, four years ago and get this uh, uh, Congress here. And I think bringing all these people from 65 different countries uh, to, the, to this uh, Montreal of us, uh, uh, it shows our uh, mining industry because uh, we are in this mining industry based uh, country and uh, it will actually try to sell our products and show our know-how because we are, we are one of the best know-how uh, uh, engineers in the world. Uh, so and also it will make people to understand what Canada is and uh, what our industry does for them. Now, the conference, uh, we spoke briefly off camera about it, it, it invites a platform for, for different groups to, uh, you know, to bring their voice to the public. What, uh, what kind of groups are you seeing that uh, they're going to be present here and you know, voicing their, uh, their concerns, their opinions, their, their happiness, whatever it may be? Okay. We, we, we have uh, technical, uh, quite a lot of technical parallel sessions. However, there are certain uh, uh, sessions are uh, quite animated. It is going to be very quite animated because we have got the environmentalist. And we have got a very, we are very honored to have the representative of our First Nation uh, going to be here and discussing the issues with the mining engineers and sort of uh, to discuss uh, what is going on. So this is a really a platform for everybody, uh, all the stakeholders from government, communities, uh, industry to get together and discuss their issues. And, uh, and that is what the Congress is all about. Now, as, uh, as a professor in mining engineering, you just told me 30 years experience, you've seen, you've seen a lot of it. What's, what's the future looking like now with, uh, with students in the program? What, uh, are they excited to get into it? Are they looking forward to, to getting into mining? Well, at the moment we, we are in a downturn in mining. Uh, however, we have got quite a, a lot of students in mining because there is a future. There is a lot of demand for the students in future. Uh, the population of the engineers in the mining industry is getting older and there is going to be a lot of retirement, so there is going to be a lot of opening in the next uh, three to five years. And uh, most of the mining engineering department their number of students have doubled in the last three, four years. And uh, at the moment, for example, uh, we have uh, at least 45 students per year at McGill and other, there are other nine uni mining schools in the country, they've got the same pattern as well. And, and we are seeing and we are encouraging more and more for our uh, female students to come on board because there is a lot of opportunity for them as well. And they are getting actually one of the most important things is that one of the highest paid um, engineering in the uh, in the country. Uh, you are getting between uh, seventy to eighty thousand dollars starting salary at uh, twenty three years old is not bad. Oh, that's uh, very attractive. Uh, listening to the keynotes earlier, speaking uh, upstairs during the plenary session, uh, a recurring theme that I heard was innovation. To uh, maybe to, to give the mining industry a new spark, to take it in a new direction. Uh, how do you how do you feel about that? Do you see innovation as, as necessary to bring mining somewhere uh, to uncharted territories, new territories? Um, for example, McGill is a uh, research-intensive uh, university, and in the mining department of us, we are carrying out a lot of research, and uh, uh, we need the research for more challenging deposits, which are much deeper or in a very harsh environment. So. You need more uh, research to be carried out in order to be able to handle these challenges. Uh, this could be, as I said, the, even in the ocean, there are some in the ocean mining, or it could, it could be at great depths up to eight kilometers on underground, uh, and, and there are a number of innovations are on the go, and, and it's going to make that possible. Perfect. Well, uh, that wraps it up for me. I, I'd like to thank you, uh, thank you for the time you took to speak to me today. I know you're very busy. No problem, and thank you very much. And thank you for joining me again at uh, 2013 World Mining Congress here in Montreal. Stay tuned, we'll have more coming up for you.